Hi. In this lesson, we will be studying about DV scan algorithm. What is it? It is a density based spatial clustering algorithm which caters the noise data also. So, uh, in K means, we studied that K means find difficulties when we have some outliers or when we have some noise data, and it find also difficulty when we have irregular. Uh, data data set shape so if we have non convex shapes the k mean clustering will be will 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 find it difficult to map the correct cl clusters so here we have a dv scan algorithm and it will it will map the irregular clusters as well so let's start with this that this is a uh, we have two parameters for that the main parameter is EPS parameter which tells us that it will calculate the neighborhood between the data point so if the data distance between the two points is lower or equal to the EPS then they are considered neighbors if the EPS is too small then the large part of the data will be considered as outliers and if the EPS is very large then all the data point will be considered in one cluster so we need to find the EPS uh, rightly so we have k distance graph and we can find the EPS correctly so according to the EPS then we have an another term called min points it is called minimum number of points data point within EPS radius so with the EPS radius we will be having some minimum points and for that minimum point we will be identifying what is a core point what is a border point what is an outlier so if we see that th these are the core point and the core point classifies as that it can contain more than min point so if we have a min point 3 or 4 it should be at least 3 or it uh, 4 so this core point considers the neighbors of these core point are 4 or more than 4 so this is the core point and what is the border point a border point is that that it contains fewer min points but it is a neighbor of a core point so it is called a border point and a point which is not a border point not a core point it will classify as a noise or outlier so this is the working algorithm of db scan that it will identify the eps first then it will identify the core point first and then it will uh, it will ch uh, find out the neighbors of the uh, neighbors of point A to point B. Point B is the neighbor, so it will group point A and point B into one cluster. B and C are neighbors, so it will group into one cluster and so on. And at the end, all the unvisited data points are being used, and uh, it it will try to so. so, so to cater all the points and those points which are not being catered are called noise noise are being classified as noise points so we have a short implementation here that this this is the output that it is it has been classified perfectly and these black points are the outliers which are not classified into green area not into the yellowish area and these are the red points so it has left the outliers but for some extent it will it will take the outliers also but if the outliers way too beyond the uh, range it will left them but the, the main advantage of db scan is that it will deal with non spherical data set so in the non spherical or non convex data set it is showing that this is the data points of green and these are the clusters too but if we apply this if we pass this data set in k means algorithm then the result will be this so it is completely different because it will it will fail the actual meaning of the clusters so it will we cannot interpret good results if we pass this in k means because uh, k means has a limitation that it cannot deal with non convex data structures or data set structures so this is a, a bit introduction about db scan and it is a very detailed and comprehensive documentation please review that so that you can have a clear understanding
so let's iterate with the basic examples what are the parameters involved in the DB scan algorithm so we have the epsilon EPS and we have minimum points uh, the epsilon if, let's take an example that if I need to check the neighborhood of my house in what direction I will be doing that stuff so the in the direction is the epsilon and how much uh, number of houses I will take it so for example if I am taking 10 uh, houses or if I am taking 4 houses or 5 houses as my neighborhood so it will be considered as minimum points or minimum houses but in this context we are dealing with two parameters one is EPS which is called epsilon and second is called min point which is called minimum points so let's discuss the epsilon here that uh, it is a distance between two points lower or equal to EPS they are considered at the neighborhood so for example if I have uh, uh, fixed a uh, EPS of 3 then the two points distance uh, should be less than or equal to 3 so then these two points will be considered as an neighbors and then what is min uh, point is that that how much points we needed to form a dense cluster so as the db scan algorithm tell us that it is density based scanning algorithm so it will tell the density it will figure out the density over the minimum number of points so if we have minimum number of points we have three or four for example we have four so we need four points or uh, greater than four point to form a dense cluster and that dense cluster will uh, take all the will give us all the predictions and other stuff so when we are dealing with the algorithm db scan algorithm is being determined to output three points which is a core point border point and noise and outlier so let's discuss with an illustration here so these red points are being the uh, core point which which means that it are these red points are the neighbors of each other and they are within the epsilon within the distance these are the neighbors for each other for example if I am going towards uh, 90 meters from my house so the 90 meters is a epsilon and the house I will be covering maybe it's 5 maybe 4 so these are the minimum number of points or minimum number of houses which I need to uh, figure it out so uh, th this is the uh, concept behind that the, the epsilon uh, and the minimum number of points that if we are heading towards the uh, 90 meter uh, mark then how much uh, points or how much houses we will be uh, checking it or we will be uh, start waving in them so where these red points are the core point because these are the closer to the epsilon and these yellow points are called the border point so what is a border point that border point is not a point which is inside the cluster but because it is a neighbor of a core point so it can uh, be considered as a border point so border point is still part of the cluster it is a part of cluster but because it's within the epsilon of a core point so for example a border point we can say that if we reaches toward the end of the uh, uh, street if we if we can say that if we reaches to the end of the street and we remaining we have remained one or two houses then we will consider those houses also our uh, neighbors or also they those are the border points so we will consider the, those our uh, houses as our neighbors so for example uh, if i am uh, sending an eid gift or uh, sending a happy new year a new year gift so I will send the uh, gift to my neighbors also and I will send to my borders also so for example this is the a minimal explanation we can have so for example these border points are also considered an inside the cluster and and these uh, points uh, core point and border point we drive our clusters uh, iteratively and then we have a noise point which is not assigned to any cluster so it is uh, 
outside of a cluster so it has been classified as noise so uh, if a point is not a border point and if a point is not a core point then it can be classified it is classified into a noise point or outlier point so uh, this is the uh, short implementation uh, of the uh, DB scan algorithm and here we can have uh, something called a code, a code snippet where we are making implementing the db scan algorithm by uh, taking the uh, centers for that and when we are predicting that stuff then it will plot that these are the points which are being considered as the uh, uh, which are being considered as the same similar number of points which have the same density or which are closer to the core point and these black points can be considered as the noise point because these are not in the in this cluster nor they are in this cluster so this point is called being as a noise point so uh, please go through this so that you can have a clear understanding